All right, guys. So the third and final coat of primer is on. Now we have to sand. Everything that's gonna get painted white, which will be the tunnel, will have to be 320 grit. Everything from the water line up, we're not gonna paint right now. I, I will sand it up to probably 180 grit. We are looking into some different options for our bottom paint. Now we originally decided to, we were gonna use the standard black anti-foul paint for the hull. I actually ordered everything from, from Total Bull, Jamestown Distributors, and doing more research, I really don't wanna be repainting this every year. But we've been looking at a silicone-based paint um, I know in Europe or overseas, uh, the company is Silic One, S-I-L-I-C-O-N-E, and they offer a colored silicone-based paint. And the whole theory behind it is uh, it's so slippery, the growth won't attach to it. If you go over X speed, it will basically just wash away. There is a company here in the States, SV Delos used them for their bottom paint with fairly good results and we've started looking into that we haven't committed to anything yet so again we're just going to hold off on the rest of the prep work for the bottoms not sure how long this is going to take how hard this is to sand uh, but you guys have seen plenty of sanding videos in the past so i'm basically just going to throw you up on time lapse and uh just just get this going i only have a few hours every night to, to do this so when sanding, a few tips I've been I've been told: don't go near the corners with your sanders. You'll burn through the primer, the paint, whatever you're at, whatever you have on, pretty easily if you start trying to go over it with the power sander. Um, basically, just go up to the corner, stay just shy of it, and just lightly hit the corners by hand with a piece of sandpaper. It's a little bit easier to work your way up the grits, and probably just as fast when it's all said and done to to sand everything 180, step up to, to 220, and then up to 320, 360, whatever it may be. It's kind of the method we're going to use. I think that's pretty much it for today. Like I say, I'm going to uh, throw you guys on time lapse and kind of get to it. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All right, guys, just to answer any questions now, the uh, canvas tarp you see over the front here, um, our front wall is riddled with holes. So we were trying to actually uh, do the primer last night, and there was a chance of rain. So put the canvas tarp up just to protect any splashing or blown rain from hitting the uh, fresh primer. So... I am here editing away while Carl is outside working on sanding the primer right now. So I'm here to ask you a favor. Could you please subscribe to our channel? I know a lot of you watch our content from week to week but aren't subscribers. So if you could please hit that subscribe button down below. It doesn't cost you a thing and it's actually pretty easy to sign up if you don't have a YouTube account. If you have a Gmail account, you can easily link it right here. So please, please, please take the few minutes to subscribe, or a few seconds, I should say, to subscribe to our channel. That's the cat. <laughs> uh, we'd really appreciate it. Please help us out and do that little thing for us. And don't forget to like and share and comment because that also helps with the YouTube algorithm. So thank you. I will return you to the video now. And the reason for sanding this down is this orange peel effect that you get. And I don't know how well this shows up. Hopefully it's showing up halfway decent on camera. But it's it's like very uh, textured, I guess you'd say. Um, so we need to sand that texture down and get this as smooth as possible. We have noticed that the... Total Protect definitely clogs sandpaper pr pretty fast. Uh, again, I don't know how well you can see that, but these are all little kind of like stuck on pieces. And, and once that happens, it's kind of junk. I do have this eraser thing that I've used in the past on our videos. And this is uh, made for woodworking for cleaning the sanding discs. Um, it works, you know, for a little while, and then you have to change the paper out. But, uh, 
it's definitely taken a longer time to sand than anticipated. So originally I had started on this and I, I'm sanding along and it feels like I'm sanding a lot off. Uh, it, realistically, I'm probably not, but it just feels that way. So I stopped and I contacted a few people about it. And uh, basically, we, we've all come to the conclusion of now everything below the water line, this total protect should be uh, 12 mils thick. Now, that's not millimeters, it's uh, I feel what they call it, it's like an industry spec, but it's like super thin. Imagine 12 mils is probably like two contractor trash bags thickness so overall that's what, sh what we should end up with on the bottom of the boat and that prevents any saturation through the barrier coat and that's why they call it a barrier coat because it, you know water can't make its way through so if we sand this down and we feel where we're sanding too deep in areas or if we actually burn through the primer um, what we're going to do is we're going to put one more coat on the bottom, everything below the waterline. Um, I'll use a fine roller, uh, probably like a foam roller that's solvent resistant. And that should give us a smoother finish. And then we'll just hit just that one more time with the sander. If we should burn through on the sides, I don't need to recoat the whole thing. I only need to touch up the spots where we burn through because it's not in constant contact with the water. Um, hopefully we don't really burn through in too many spots, but there was a couple test patches I did and I did end up burning through in one, one spot over there. So, um, it's kind of where we stand right now. Yeah, unfortunately it's, it's taken way longer than I expected to sand, so I'm going to probably drop back to like a 120 grit to start. And then that will, like I said, hopefully that just knocks down the, the gross orange peel. And then from there I'll just be able to step up really fast. Uh, from 120 to 220 to 320 and then we're we're ready to go so it's kind of where we're, we're at now I think that's pretty much it again we've contacted a few different people about it and, and it's kind of what we've all come up with sand it down and then if we have to touch up we will so for your viewing enjoyment here's some more glorious sanding thanks for watching be sure to like share and subscribe All right, guys. Uh, one, I'm taking a little break, but I uh, just wanted to see if I can get this a little bit better on camera for you here. So this is sanded down to 120 grit, and it's nice and smooth. There's a couple little spots here and there, but for the most part, all the orange peel effect is going. And again, I'm not sure how well this shows up on camera. I just scuffed this up just to kind of highlight those that orange peel effect. Obviously, as, as you go down a little further, this is unsanded here, and uh, again, it's, it's it doesn't look bad unsanded, but once you start sanding, you get this textured to it. So it's actually sanding a lot easier today. Um, it's not clogging up my 120 grit paper. So I'm on the same piece of paper right now, still clean, just a little dusty, and I've done pretty much up to about here on the hull, so about eight feet on the bottom of the hull. Uh, that's way further than I was making it the other day. Uh, the other day I did about a foot and a half on one side and I would have to change the paper out. So uh, maybe it just wasn't cured enough. Um, again, we are now three days after priming, after the final coat of primer. So again, hopefully it has, uh, you know, since it a little bit better and it's not going to clog paper as bad as I want to say I've been out here maybe 45 minutes and uh, making some really good headway so maybe we just didn't let it cure long enough uh, to start with so here's to hoping um, I'll definitely keep you guys updated as we go if I had any more like bad spots where it gums up the paper or anything and uh, yeah we get back to it All right, guys, so an update on the paper clogging situation. I did uh, 10 feet at the top of the hull here from, let's see, about here all the way back with one piece of paper. I get down on the side over here on this panel right here in the corner, and I sand for maybe 30 seconds, and that same piece of paper I used for the rest of it clogged up almost instantly. 
um, change the paper out, said, ah, I'll just leave that area alone for now. I come back over to the top of the hull and I work my way down to the bow. Uh, I sanded, I don't know, three or four feet more and I'm getting this nice, nice dust off of it. I mean, dust sucks, yes, but uh, I'm getting dust off of it. So it's not clogging the paper. It's not like uh, gunky, basically, right? So I sand another three or four feet and then I hit a spot right over here where it literally just gunked up my paper instantly. And this is what you get. Again, I'm not sure how well it's showing on camera, but you see all those dark spots? That's actually the primer gunked up on the paper and once that seems to happen i mean there's no way to really get it off other than to just change your paper um I, i've always said you know change your sandpaper like somebody else is paying for it because it, it just works better uh bites better once you wear it down you're just kind of you know wasting time but uh again for that to happen and you know like i said a couple of minutes it's uh kind of weird Again, I don't know if maybe it's just not cured enough in certain areas. Um, I'm not quite sure at this point, but I'm going to have to power through it at this point and just keep going. Um, I, I might try to jump on the other hull bottom on this side over here. Um, if I find that this, this is good up to about the same point here, then maybe it is because it's a, it's a curing issue because uh in the morning the sun comes up over here and the bottom of the hulls get sun really all day long but once you hit these shadow areas you only get sun half the day we're facing almost directly north and south with this with this hall right now so half the day you get sun on the on the east side half the day you get it on the west side so um that might make sense again i think it would all cure together but i don't know at this point so just forget to give a little update All right, guys, so today we are sanding. Uh, sanding out the Total Protect again. Uh, I know I got this on video a few times here. I just wanted to give you the uh, an update on how we're making out with sanding. So we were having issues with the paper clogging up. Uh, I've given a few updates so far. I think we just didn't let it cure long enough. Um, it's been a week and a half since the, the third coat went on. And everything today is, is sanding with no problem, not clogging any paper. I mean, it's still a lot of work, obviously, to sand it, but uh, it, it's been a lot better. I'm actually, like, wearing out the paper and changing it before it clogs now, which is great. Uh, I definitely use the product again. Um, again, just give it a little bit longer time to cure before sanding for, for final paint, for, before sanding for preparation for final paint anyway. Um, we have decided uh, to go with the silicone anti-foul for the bottom and uh that's a c speed product they're out of uh texas um so that's on order now we should be getting that hopefully within the next week and we are looking into going with a hvlp spray system for a future painting spraying etc the roller seems to give a, a very textured orange peel as opposed to a spray gun so uh, i think we're going to bite the bullet here and and buy the setup and kind of make our lives a little bit easier in that realm too so but that's kind of where we stand on everything again uh the, the product has been good for the most part aside from I, I don't think we let it cure long enough all right guys thanks for watching i'm gonna get back to it try to get this done before it gets you know too hot in here and uh we'll see you next time Which camera am I looking at? Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, all right. What am I saying? <laughs>